talking about pets and your association with pets have you always had pets throughout your years or was it sometime recently that you brought home a pet so i was not uh, so fond of pet honestly like um, i mean because my parents they never liked it okay. so um, when i used to go college i remember i used to spend time with the pets that there only but then i never had that you know feeling when i'm going to keep one at home right although i always wanted i was really fond of labrador okay but then um, at the same time uh, this ha- all happened i really started to think about it when i lost my dad because i wanted someone to be home with my mom when i'm away all right so that's how this uh, this idea came up parent i wanted uh, you know um, someone to be with mom so i thought like you know i just started talking to mom about it and uh, i was like mama is it okay if i bring uh, if i i thought of buying that time but then i, I didn't really buy it. so i was like mama i'm thinking about it what do you say so she was like i'm not going to do anything you bring one you're going to take care of yourself take care of yourself i said okay cool let's do this so uh, one day what happened was um, my mate she knew how much i loved pets okay so she brought a puppy from her street she found like a really pretty puppy because i kept telling her that you know her his her daughter actually not her her daughter she got a puppy she's like i want to show it to didi let's see if she likes it and you know you never know so she brought it uh, him home and i was not at home actually so it was basically my mom in rio that time and he, i remember my mom she asked to her to keep him really away you know like keep him separate and then she called me she goes like you know what jasmine she brought a puppy home i was like really so wherever i was i left right away from there i got back home and i saw his face and i'm like mama we are keeping him he's not going back he's not going back so i thanked her and i'm like thank you jasmine like you brought him here and now he's not going anywhere okay so and then i mean there on it all started and i fell in love with him and so much in love with him that he's now the most pampered boy of our family and because of him i'm glad i'm able to serve many more street dogs and you know everyone else around whoever i can in my ability uh, but then i mean that's how it all started lovely what are the changes that you see Well, with him, you know, I don't really feel like having a dog at home. I don't consider him as an animal. Trust me. Yeah. For me, it's like uh, for us actually. For me, my mom both. He's more of a you know a human to us, like a family member. You know, wherein, trust me. I mean, I haven't. I'm not sure whether other people must be doing it, but we really keep keep looking after for him. Like if we don't see him for a while, we'll be like, Rio, where are you? And he'll come and appear in front of us. So uh, for us it's like he's like a baby you know mm-hmm. and uh, he keeps hiding you know he'll hide behind the ba- bed and then he'll expect us to you know call his name then he'll raise his head and <laughs> look at us so i mean those little little moments i would say when uh, throughout his growing up because he's starting with him was pretty uh, hard yeah. but tough because when i brought him home he was su- uh, suffering from the skin disease all right really really badly so he had all ticks all over like in tag what so i took him to the vet and then i believe when he was a one year he turned one yeah six months or one year near about that time we had to literally shave him off and he was almost going through a treatment uh, for about six months wherein i had to put medicine on his body his hair was all shaved off and i had to put mes- medicine on his body put him in the sun and used to make a lot of noise because it used to hurt him or uh, i mean probably I, i don't know what feeling but then we really had a hard time looking at him that way but then i'm really glad that you know we brought him over all that because that was really a hard time for us but then thereafter we got we got pretty more conscious about you know because i never had an idea of what to be careful with you know what to offer him and i never consulted to because for us it's like okay whatever best we can and but but then there on he just got like you know i mean <laughs> he got really habitual because i used to used to start treating him since day one since very first i start treating him with the best of treats i can 
and till date like been 4 years i mean he can't stay without those treats so even in the lockdown i have to manage to get him those treats otherwise even if he doesn't have food now that's okay he needs to definitely have those treats at least so yeah. for us i mean uh, yeah i mean it's great and you know uh, the feeling of having, having him is really is kind of a secure feeling that i i personally feel and so is for my mom because she's a little she's elderly and you know for uh, for the fact that for me it's a sense of security when i'm not home yeah. and apart from that i know that you know she's he's always always ready and looking after her and he's al- always active like you know i mean he's very even though he will be sleeping in the you know deepest of sleep he will know if something something walks around around our house not even inside or close to our door he will know and he will start to bark from out of that sleep he'll get up and sleep he's not he doesn't keep sleeping all day yeah. i mean that's something i really appreciate about him because you know i mean being actively and you know i mean he's kind of possessive that's what i feel yeah. and i mean truly he shows a lot of love and then you know he talks to her with his paws all the time you know and then from his mouth mostly so for us he's more like a human i mean because he likes to talk he likes to communicate you know that's something i love about him yeah and that's how it has been for years and uh, looking for many more whatever best we can do for him and i'm sure i'm able to look after more through him yeah <laughs> of course i'm sure he's also helpful hoping and after what happened with your dad you know i'm sure his his kind of made it easier for you and your mom definitely definitely a lot for me pet having a pet is not just like having an animal you feed him one at once a day if he doesn't eat doesn't matter you know you let him be and no for us i get tensed when he doesn't eat even a one meal so for me somehow to make him eat if he doesn't want chicken okay i'm going to give that to the street dogs outside then i have to cook another meal for him i make sure that he eats because for us i mean i, I don't feel good about it but i have seen mostly people you know around i have wherever i stay i mean for them dogs are dogs like they're not really you know they don't really feel them as a family member Amazing. the dogs knows if they don't get food anywhere they'll have it from my house or even if they come outside my door if the food is over they know that they can make noise even at 2 at night i'll wake up and i'll feed them so yeah. i believe if you can be like this i'm sure like you know there is so much more we can do in this lifetime i mean is life is short i mean if you can contribute to someone's life why not yeah of course even though they are animals why not of course in fact i think they appreciate more than fellow humans <laughs> yeah of course a lot yeah, more a lot more 